Hello, and welcome to KNVC News. I'm Bobby Collins. On a weekend full of people returning to their college roots, the Missouri Valley College Honors Program brought home a success story. A man whose experience on campus is something he'll never forget. KNVC's Taylor Gilkey gives us an inside look on an alum whose roots run deep at Valley. I look at failures as a the Honors Program brought another prestigious visitor on Missouri Valley campus. Um, I wanted to create some opportunities for Honors students to um, network and have face time with leaders in business. Uh, I saw Mr. Robinson speak at commencement in 2015. George Robinson graduated from Missouri Valley in 1971 with a bachelor's in physical education and a minor in biology. He moved on to own multiple businesses, including the Robinson Group, that recruits people to make leadership speeches and do training about many things, such as change, team building, and diversity. Uh, one of the courses I teach is called micro inequities, and micro inequities are those negative messages that we send to each other that tells the other person how we really feel. As he spoke with the honor students, he engaged with them in many ways. Students focused on his words and how he was able to succeed, coming to the college during a time where he wasn't sure if he would be accepted. And, and the college itself and its professors and faculty and staff were very close. They wanted us here. We felt wanted. Missouri Valley College is an institution that is extremely diverse, representing at least 25 different countries. To Robinson, Missouri Valley College is a school where students can make things happen. His advice to students is to plan for everything and stay optimistic. It doesn't go right, you have to have a plan B. And I don't say a backup plan because I don't want to fall down, I don't want to fall back. If I'm falling, I want to fall forward to the next opportunity. Taylor Gilkey, KMVC News. Robinson is also on the Board of Trustees and is the recipient of an honorary doctor and an honor alumnus. Telling a story without using words may sound impossible, but for some students at Missouri Valley College, dancing is all they need. KNVC's Troy Jones has a story of moves with meaning. Once a year, Missouri Valley College hosts its annual homecoming bonfire, where students, faculty, and alumni gather to showcase their spirit and support for its athletic programs. I want it to spark an interest. I want them to be like, questioning like, oh, what is this? The MVC's Islanders Club performs traditional Polynesian dances from Samoan to Tongan and Hawaiian styles to show unity and to tell their story. It's just more like in the Polynesian community, dancing is just just to have fun. It's just explain a story instead of talking, like speaking it out. We dance it. The tradition of the MVC Polynesian bonfire dance is passed down from alumni each year. It's always important. I always try to help out the polys and, you know, give back. When I got here in 2012, you know, the polys showed me the way, passed me the torch, so it's like me passing them the torch for all the new polys coming, you know, it's a tradition. It's been going since, like, 2005. With every step and shake, there is a lesson to be learned. Oh, but, like, it's fun to teach people our dance and our culture. It's fun to, like, it's interesting to hear them ask questions like, why do we do this move or why do we do this move? or why do we do this dance, there's a meaning behind it. Carrying on traditions. Because they, it was a tradition before I even got here. So I just want to keep it alive. A tradition they can scream loud and proud for. Troy Jones, KMVC. The Islander Club meets three times a week on the Missouri Valley College campus. The Missouri Valley College football team was trying to build momentum it took into the break separating South and North division play in the Heart of America Athletic Conference. The Vikings entered this Saturday's homecoming contest against Avila with a 2-4 record on the season. Valley hasn't lost to Avila since 2004. On Valley's first play from scrimmage, Kenny Sanford took the handoff and ran 80 yards for the touchdown. Sanford finished the day on the ground with 10 carries for 125 yards and missed touchdown. But Sanford added a receiving touchdown as well, catching a 20-yard pass from Jake Bridges to extend the first quarter lead to 14-0. Bridges added a one-yard touchdown pass to Mo Anglin and a five-yard TD pass to Moses Minchin. Bridges was 18 for 23 for 199 yards and three scores. Minchin had two touchdown catches and Valley beat Avila 35 to 14 in the Eagles' final game against the Vikings as a member of the heart. Missouri Valley College homecoming is filled with many traditions and the annual Ted Chitwood Award is one of them. The Chitwood Award was established to commemorate homecoming 
and the homecoming football game while recognizing the most outstanding senior of the game. The highlights a moment ago featured a number of plays on the offensive side, but KMVC's Ember Taylor reports the Ted Chitwood player came from the other side of the ball. Ted Chitwood was a collegiate multi-sport athlete at Missouri Valley College in football, basketball, and track. Chitwood was inducted into the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame for football in 2005. Chitwood and his wife established the Ted Chitwood Award in 1970 to commemorate the homecoming football game and the outstanding senior of that game. It just really comes down to who had the best game as a senior and it, it could be somebody who started their first game ever or somebody who started every single game up to that point. It's just who, who has the best game that, that day as an individual. Not only does the recipient receive a plaque, but he also gets a gift that will help him after leaving Missouri Valley College. One caveat with the award was not only will the winner get a plaque, but they also um, get a business suit that is donated to them by Mrs. Chitwood. She buys the senior a uh, business suit so they have something to take on an interview when they graduate from college and start their career. The recipient of the 2017 Chitwood Award is Diedrich Allen. He had 13 tackles, two and a half sacks, and two pass breakups. Congratulations! Playing hard like any other game, Allen could tell his hard work is paying off. Uh, shit, that just, that just uh, goes to show that all my off-season work just pays off and it's out here just hustling and just running to the ball, pretty much. The defensive lineman added another award to his resume. Allen was recognized as the Hart Football Defensive Player of the Week in September of this season. Amber Tabling, KMVC News. In addition to the Chitwood Award, Allen won the Hearts Award for Defensive Player of the Week for the second time. The Vikings play at Greg Mitchell Field October 21st against Central Methodist at 1.30. <clears throat> mobile applications bring millions of people together, and Missouri Valley College is using, is using a mobile app to bring its students together and make campus life more lively. Missouri Valley College has recently developed and released the mobile app. The application allows students to see what activities are going on around campus. I think it's been pretty positive. We started out with our freshman group that came in and our new students and having them downloaded at orientation. Um, but we have about 720 users. And so we, of course, want that number to grow and have all of our students download it. But I think that's a really good start for us. The school has once experimented with other applications in order to boost student involvement at events. Well, I took a poll amongst um, my student organizations and at some activities. Just, hey, raise your hands. How many of you actually look at the weekly newsletter and the emails? And I was really surprised that not very many people took the time to read them. And I understand how it goes, you know, when you're constantly getting emails all the time, that, it, that it's easy to kind of pass that up. So we wanted to provide an outlet where students can go and find the information themselves instead of constantly having it um, pushed at them. Through the app, students are able to check the school calendar, contact campus safety, and set it for alerts that they like. I have it set so it tells me when there's like volleyball games or football games and who's playing and I know that you can edit that so I have it set on like the sporting events that I want to go to and stuff. And The app does have some minor flaws dealing with the ID number but is a great resource to boost student involvement around campus. The application is free through Apple Store and Google Play. Missouri Valley College Fine Arts Department hosted its annual fall showcase this past Saturday. As KMVC's Matthias Moreno reports, the night was full of talent. At Kilsall Maybe Theater, hosted this year's fall showcase, the Department of Fine Arts had the chance to show what they've been working on so far. For some integrants of the Missouri Valley Squire, being on that stage is not something they're used to yet. I'm a little nervous, but I'm actually really excited. This is my first one, so it's going to be a lot of butterflies, but I know we'll do good. Among the crowd, some familiar faces stand out. I'm excited. I've already seen some people that I know. I'll see more tomorrow. Awkward and excited. <laughs> the show was a combination of the multiple groups the fine art is consisted of, such as the choir, the band, Mateus Marin, KMVC News. Other fine art activities and information are available on mobile.edu forward slash fine arts. One Missouri Valley College student is trying to sink his way to his future. 
KNVC's Victor Casey tells us about Matthias Costa, how his dreams are slowly coming into reality, and how he plans to continue building on what he started in the U.S. back home in Brazil. Missouri Valley College always have their own version of American Idol once a year for students called Valley Idol. And even though this is Costa's third time, he has huge goals in mind outside of school and continues to work on becoming more confident in front of crowds. Yeah, yeah, I've been improving a little bit in some things, but I think I still feel nervous every time I go to the, to the, to the audience, in front of the audience, I feel nervous a little bit. After hearing Costa sing, people really supported his potential and his future. He did a wonderful job. Um, he did an awesome job on the guitar and his voice was great and I thought the song that he also picked as well was a beautiful song. So absolutely, I wish him the best of luck and you know, representing Valley all around the world, I think that's great. Oh, I thought he did a great job. He sang um, in Valley Idol last year and did a great job and I was really excited when he came into the office and signed up again because he always does a fantastic job. I to take uh, some uh, singing classes and guitar classes and improve every time and do it as a profession. Your 2017 Valley Idol winner is Matez Costa! Victor Casey, KMVC News. Costa plans to graduate in the spring and take singing class in the U.S. before heading back to Brazil. That's KMVC News for the week. Thanks for watching. I'm Bobby Collins.